Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's convocation. I am so excited for this convo. It's a preview of our Earth Tones concert that happens in about a week and a half. Before I turn it over to our choirs, I wanted to just highlight two of the announcements that have been scrolling. And actually, first of all, for the past couple of weeks, we've been trying this thing where we scroll announcement slides in the first 10 minutes before convo starts, just as another way of cutting through information overload and getting things in front of you. If you have a group or a club that wants an announcement in the slide deck, send it to me, Suzanne East, E-H-S-T, as a pre-formatted slide, and I will drop it in. And if you forget who to send it to, just ask somebody, who's that convo lady I'm supposed to send it to? And you'll eventually find my name from somebody. Um, to uh, in the convo slide deck, first of all, I wanted to point out the picture of crocus bulbs blooming. You might remember last fall when we were holding grief together, when we were thinking about the loss of, of Ezra and other losses that we were all carrying, you were invited to plant crocus bulbs on the north side of the building here. And if you haven't noticed, they're starting to bloom. So as you walk by that space, maybe if you haven't done so already, just take a moment to notice the blooms that are coming up. The other thing I wanna call your attention to is that next week, ooh, right there, Convo starts at 9 a.m. We're it's academic symposium. There are no classes. Strongly encourage you, even if you're not presenting, to participate by attending, hearing your peers' research in their different fields. We're gonna kick off the day with Convo, so we will start at 9 a.m. here. Um, you can get Convo credit, bring your card, all the normal stuff, everything is the same except for the time. With that, I am going to turn it over to our three Goshen College choirs. They'll be giving you, yes, and please make sure that your phones are away, your homework is away. Um, if you are doing homework while these folks are singing, I don't, I don't know, it's, it, I heard them warming up. It's beautiful, it's amazing. So you will want to give them your full attention. Um, Next Saturday at 7.30 is the full Earth Tones concert. And so if you enjoy what you hear, please consider attending. With that, I am going to turn it over to Scott for the first choir. Show, 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 show. 
Hello? Are we good? We're good. Thank you, ITS. So you were probably following along with the words up there. This is Shosholoza. This was a song of resistance that miners were singing in the diamond and gold mines. Um, they were taking, this was actually uh, Zimbabwean workers that were coming to South Africa on steam trains. And that, that word shosholoza is like choo-choo, like it's the sound of a train, of a steam train. But this was sung by South Africans as a way of showing resistance to the apartheid regime. This was sung by Mandela when he was uh, imprisoned on Robben Island. But now, Things are a little bit different in South Africa. It is now sung by whites and blacks together as a song of unity, a pride uh, for South Africa. It is sung at sporting events as a way of reminding us that we are not alone and that we are on a team and that we are all, all together. So that's Shosholaza. The next piece is very different. This comes um, from India. This is Ram Kali. A lot of Indian classical music um, uses tunes called raga. And so this is, this is one of those tunes. Um, very different from Western music that has chords and everything. It's uh, Indian music, Indian classical music uses different um, tones um, that meander around a solid tone. And usually there is some type of a shruti box or some drone underneath, as well as two percussion instruments playing. This arrangement has no percussion, it's just voices. So this is arranged by Ethan Sperry. Um, and you'll hear the choir sound like percussion. You will also hear a unique technique called overtone singing. You will hear some pitches way up high that almost sound like bell tones. We're not actually singing those notes. We're creating those notes by changing the shape of our mouths. Actually, the first tenors are doing that, along, yeah, along with Francisco. So you'll listen for those at the very beginning, OK? And, and uh, this is a. This is actually a sacred piece, a uh, sacred Hindu piece, and the text is up there. I am entirely devoted to you, my Lord, at least heed my plea, my love. You can read the rest. Please enjoy Ram Kali.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vox. Songs tell the story of the human experience. Apparently, a big part of the human experience is negotiating conflict. I'm told. <laughs> Our songs are expressing perhaps conflict and ways to negotiate that and last night at the talk that Lawrence Guiden coordinated on the anniversary of Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham Jail, um, Bob Bowman, um, who is the pastor at Walnut Creek Mennonite Church, said that he learned about negotiating conflict in a class here at Goshen College back in the day. And he said that he valued the opportunity to explore how to move through it and how to negotiate it. Not that he had solutions, but that he was exploring that. And so some of our songs are capturing that, which is a global experience. And our first song, for me, is a way to express the conflict between a personal need for work and a personal need for rest. And when you are tired, what do you need to do to come back and visit your cares? Stand in that river is an invitation to think about water and the soothing aspect of water. And our second song, Ella's song, is the words of Ella Baker, who was a civil rights activist. She wrote this text in 1964 after the murder of three civil rights activists. And I invite us all to consider our cares today, to consider that context, and join us if you are so moved at any point in any of that. Thank you for being here.
Thank you so much. Sadly, that song is still important to sing. After a year um, later, past the conflict, it's still going. Russia is still 
illegally occupying Ukraine. And so we sing in solidarity with our Ukrainian folks in, at Goshen College and around the world. Um, Chambers' second piece moves to Canada and to a pop group called Royal Canoe from Winnipeg, a freezing cold city that has amazing songs, amazing groups, and amazing artistic scenes. So we hope you enjoy Walk Out on the Water. This will feature Henry on bass and Birch on some drums.
anyone who was involved in creating the new Mennonite hymnal knows how words of songs can change when the context of the community that sings them grows and shifts. And our last song is a demonstration of that in South Africa. The text is taken from the story of Jericho and the walls coming down. And the text says, the walls are coming down. The walls of Jericho fall to pieces. They fall. And the movements, which are inherent to the, to the music form, um, demonstrate the walls falling. And then during the apartheid struggle, um, there, another movement was added to continue shifting the meeting. And it's like we are taking the walls down. So it adds some agency to the walls coming down. We can take them down. So with this song, I invite you to think about something that is in the way that you would like to melt. Thank you so much for coming and watching today. And if you liked what you heard, there is more at our Earth Tones concert, which is not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. And even if you had a hankering, please don't leave quite yet. Even if you had a hankering to sing just one time with these choirs, you could join us at 4 o'clock on that day and then sing one song, a very easy song, uh, for each of the groups. So if you have been really wanting to join choir, this is your chance just on one song for one day. You can email me if you'd like to do that. Please come, though, regardless to our Earth Tones concert. And thank you again for your attendance today. <laughs>